Hi, this is Maddie and Elizabeth for the Center for Nursing Inquiry, and we're going to show you some fast facts and some hints about filling out the Appendix E of the article appraisal forms through our evidence-based practice model. So to get to those tools, I'm going to go through the nursing intranet. Um, I'm here on the home page, and I'm going to click on professional practice, which is going to take me to a new screen. And over here on the left, the Center for Nursing Inquiry is the last option, so I'm going to click that. And then I'm given a couple different pull down menus, but I want to go to tools. And this is great because it gives me all the tools from the evidence based practice book and model here on the top. But I'm also able to scroll down and look if I need any quality improvement tools or any research tools. So this is a great place to find a lot of different resources. But for our talk today, we're going to look at the res the research evidence appraisal tool. I'm going to look at the PDF. So I'm going to click here and it's going to bring the tool up for me. Now it's 10 pages. This can seem rather overwhelming, but we want to give you some hints about how many of those pages and how many of those sections you really need to fill out. So I have it open here and I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to skip this first one here because this is actually where we're going to write our level and quality once we've done the entire tool. But I'm going to go in and fill in all this information about my title, author, journal, etc. And then I get to the first question. And my first question is, does this evidence address my EBP question? This, I love to have my EBP question pulled up on the screen next to me or written out on a piece of paper next to me so I can constantly be asking myself, does this information address my EBP question? And if the answer is no, then you're done. You don't have to do anything else. You've done that article. You don't need to continue the form. So Maddie, really quick, so I'm clear. If the article doesn't answer my EBP question, I don't even fill out the rest of this tool. Correct. You are done. Now that article isn't necessarily trash. You might want to save it to help fill in a little bit of the background or help with your conclusions regarding the project, but you're done with this form for that article. Awesome. Now if it was a yes, what do I do next? So I have a yes. This means I'm going to continue my form. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to look at these different options and it's saying, is this study quantitative, qualitative, or mixed methods, which means both. So if I am going to be, I'm going to pick which one it is either, and then I'll be navigating myself to section one, to section two, or to section three. So Maddie, let's say for purposes of this, it is a quantitative. You're saying I'm going to go to section Roman numeral one, which means I never go to section Roman numeral two. I never go to section Roman numeral three. So I'm literally only filling out information in this section one. Correct. It's not all of these options. It's only one of them. Okay. So like you said, as an example, we're going to go to section um, Roman numeral one because we're, let's say we're looking at a quantitative study. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to my section one, which is obviously the first one on there. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at these different um, questions here and I'm going to start answering yes or no. This is another big hint. There's a, there is a number one, a number two, and a number three here which are addressed here in this gray box. But this first question isn't in this gray box because you actually be skipping ahead if you were to answer no to this question. So keep in mind that this first question is not addressed as a number one, a number two, or a number three in these questions here in the gray, in this um, second gray um, set of rows. So Maddie, in that big A is this report of a single research study. If I say yes, then I'm going to answer one, two, and three. But if I say no, again, here's another place I skip. I'm not going to answer for these. I'm going to go to that. It's saying, you know, capital B, right? Correct. That's how you're going to, again, skip yourself forward. Okay. So you're, let's say you're filling out this part. You say it is a single research study. You continue answering all these questions. In this big box here, we're going to write all the things that we found in the article that help us answer our EBP question, and then we're going to skip again. So this box here tells us that we want to skip to the appraisal of quantitative research studies. So we're not going to fill out every box. We're going to be skipping forward. So right, gonna, because okay. on this next page, it's that capital B, which above, if I had answered that, I'd be filling this out. So to your point, it's saying skip to the appraisal section. I'm skipping all of this stuff here. Correct. So okay. we're going to keep going down until we get to the appraisal of quantitative research studies. Again, we're doing all the tool, we're doing the tool for the quantitative part. So again, we have our yes, no's and our non-applicables and we're going to fill this part out. And then we are going to skip again. The last part here is telling us to complete the quality rating for quantitative study section. 
So again, this is information that right below that we aren't going to fill out because we are skipping ahead to complete the quality rating section. So I'm going to look, scroll down until I find that. And here it is, the quality rating for quantitative study. So this is the part that I'm going to be filling out right here. Right. So in this box, based on what I read in my article, I'll decide if it's high quality, good or low, A, B, or C. And then now we're going back up to the very top of the first page and inputting that number and then that letter um, to that question that we couldn't answer in the beginning of this form, right? Exactly. And so out, so we're on page five or six here, and we are not doing any other pages further in the document. So like you said, we're going to go back up to the very top, and this is where we're going to put that number so it's easily accessible as we go through our tools when we start to pull everything together. Right. So essentially, we filled out this half of this page, we filled out something on that other page, and then we went to that box. So we really didn't even fill out maybe six pages of this 10-page form, or even seven. Exactly. So it seems like a lot of information, but when you really look closely at the instructions, you're able to skip ahead for a lot of different parts. Great. You know, just for the purposes, I think it'd be helpful. Could we try, we're moved to a new example, folks. Pretend it's not quantitative anymore. Can we show them qualitative? Like, let's say on that first page, and we're answering that first questions, it's saying go to section two, Roman numeral two, qualitative. So can we walk them through um, what that would look like? Right, so again, this is a skip pattern. It's telling us to go to section two. So here's section one. We're going to not do any of this. It doesn't apply to what we're doing. And I'm going to keep scrolling until I find section two. So none of this is applicable. Mm. Here we go. Section two, qualitative. Great. Awesome. So then we're actually going to, so we, again, to your point, even though this is a 10-page form, we skipped all those front pages, and we're actually only going to answer these questions for this particular article in this qualitative piece. Correct. Okay. Um, and again, we're going to follow these skip patterns where we're going to follow. So here we're doing the appraisal of qualitative literature and going to follow to our yes or no's and then skip ahead again to the qualitative rating section. So those skip patterns are really important to save yourself some time and some frustration. Excellent. Well, thank you. And folks, you know, if you have questions or want to run a tool by us, maybe even practice with us or just make sure that you're doing it correctly, any kind of help you need, be sure to reach out to us via the Center for Nursing Inquiry, which you can find all that information as Maddie showed us on the nursing intranet.